construction of front piece for sari blouse in the previous session we constructed the pattern for the back piece of the sari blouse in this session we will see how to construct the pattern for the front piece using a triangular scale based on drafting instructions at the end of the session you will be able to construct pattern for front piece of sari blouse using a triangular scale let's first familiarize with the tools and materials required for doing this exercise they are notebook pencil triangular scale measuring tape front piece pattern and drafting instructions fraction table and scale in the previous session we found the fractions of all the required body measurements and prepared the measurement chart now we can copy the drafting instructions in our notebook but here we will copy only those instructions which need calculations now we need to find the sum of these values the next step is to draw the pattern for the front piece in our notebook using a triangular scale here we are using a 1 is to 4 scale to draw the pattern as per our drafting instruction first we will draw the line 0 1 which we have already found out as 17 inches Now we can draw the line zero two, which is ten and a half inches. Construct line one three, which is also ten and a half inches. Join points two and three. Now mark point four such that zero four is seven and a quarter inches. Starting from point four, draw a line perpendicular to line zero one. The point where it meets the line two three is point nine. From point zero, measure six three by four inches and make a mark. This is point five. From point five, draw a line perpendicular to line zero two. The point where this line meets the line four nine will be point twenty three. From point five, measure half inch down and make a mark. This is point six. From point zero, measure three and a half inches and make a mark. This is point seven. Join points seven and six. Now from point zero, measure six and a quarter inches downwards and make a mark. This is point eight. From point one, measure eight and a quarter inches and make a mark. This is point ten. From point ten, draw a line towards point nine halfway. Then from point one, measure four inches upwards and make a mark. This is point eleven. From point ten, measure three inches along the line ten nine and make a mark. This will be point twelve. From point zero, measure eight three by four inches down and make a mark. This is point thirteen. From point thirteen, measure three three by four inches towards the right and make a mark. This is point fourteen. Join points eleven and twelve. Now, from point eleven, measure three three by four inches towards the right and make a mark. This is point fifteen. Join points fourteen and fifteen. From point twelve, measure two inches outward and make a mark. This is point twenty-seven. Join points twenty-seven and nine. From point twenty-seven, measure one and a half inches along line twenty-seven nine. This is point sixteen. Join points fourteen and sixteen. From point twenty-three, measure one inch upwards and make a mark. This is point seventeen. Join points fourteen and seventeen. Now, from point fourteen, mark one inch each along points thirteen, fifteen, sixteen. And seventeen. These will be points twenty-nine, 
30, 31 and 32. From point 15 mark 1 inch on either sides. These will be points 18 and 19. Join points 19-30 and 18-30. From point 17 measure half inch on either sides. These will be points 33 and 34. Join points 34-32 and 33-32. From point 13 measure half inch on either sides. These will be points 37 and 38. Join points 37, 29 and 38, 29. Now we need to make the length of the upper dart line 33, 32 equal to the lower dart line 34, 32. So first measure 32, 34 and mark the same amount for the upper dart line. Now this newly marked point will be point 33. Then from point 17 measure half inch outwards and make a mark. This will be point 39. Now join points 33, 39 and 34, 39. From point 16 measure half inch on either sides. These will be points 35 and 36. Now join points 31, 35 and 31, 36. Then measure the lower dart line 31, 35 and mark the same amount for the upper dart line. Now this newly marked point will be point 36. Then from point 16 measure 3 by 4 inches outwards and make a mark. This will be point 28. Now join points 35, 28 and 36, 28. Join points 28 and 9. From point 11 measure 1 inch upwards and make a mark. This is point 26. From point 7 measure 6 and a quarter inches downwards and make a mark. This is point 20. Join points 8 and 20. Now find the midpoint of the line 8, 20. First measure 8, 20 using the triangular scale and then find half of the obtained value using the measuring tape. Mark the same in your notebook using the triangular scale. This will be point 22. Similarly, find the midpoint of line 7, 20. This will be point 21. Join points 21 and 22 in a curve. This will be the front neck. Now find the midpoint of the line 523. This will be point 24. Now from point 24 measure half inch inwards and make a mark. This will be point 25. Join points 9, 39, 25, 6 in a curve. This will be the front armhole. Thus we have constructed the pattern for the front piece of the sari blouse using a triangular scale. In this session we have learned how to construct the pattern for the front piece of sari blouse using a triangular scale. Before we conclude, let's take a look at the key steps involved in constructing the pattern for the front piece of the sari blouse. Step 1. Note the body measurements and its fractions in your notebook. Step 2. Copy the drafting instructions in your notebook by substituting the values found out from the fraction table instead of fractions of body measurements. Step 3. Add or subtract numbers if any. Step 4. Turn in your notebook with the help of a triangular scale. With that, we've come to the end of this session.